Hello friends, my name is Yashras Pup Sakre. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn to design an analysis of trust on ETAP software. So let's start. So let's select the default options metric SI, steel section database Indian, the required design codes. OK. Now let's specify the grids 3 in x direction. Uh, let's take in y direction the spacing let's provide 5 and 4 4 in y direction in stories uh, pay attention here uh, just click on two stories the bottom give it as you can give it pi or 6 let's give it 6 and typical story around 1.5 uh, or 2 let's give it 2 grid only and click on ok So this is what we'll get. So the next step is to define the properties and materials. So let's have a look at it. Material properties. Add new material. Select India. And click on OK. OK again. And OK to exit. Now we'll define the section properties. Print okay, section. So we'll have to add new property. First of all, we'll go for columns for steel I wide flange. So we are going to make an auto list of it. Click on auto list. Name it columns or anything else, whatever you want. Go to steel life wide flange. So here you can click on import to import the properties. Per grade. Click on I wide flange and select all. Click on OK and enter twice. So we have defined the columns. Now let's add another new property. This time we are going to add the single angle sections. Steel angle. Auto select. Name it single angles or whatever you want. Steel angles. Yes. And import. Click on FP3145 here steel angle again and select all click on ok click on ok again and another property for purlins we are going to choose steel channel sections yes channel the select Channels Auto select again, click on Auto select steel channel Import the data So basically the all the steps are similar you just have to Import the data and select it on enter and finally, you will define the properties for time member and rafter. So, add new property again. And this time, go for I or Y, I or Y planch. Auto select. Import. You have already have it, so now we need to import. Click on OK. So now that you have defined the properties, let's draw it. Means select the elevation, go to 1, apply, OK. Now select the quick draw beam option. Select the property. We have defined it as rafter. Select it and draw it. The time members. The principal rafter. Okay. 
now we'll draw the center member that is the strut we can call it sling go to beam again change the property this time single angles we have defined it select it now to draw the as we are drawing the prat truss we need to divide it into the number of bays so let us let us divide it so select the member to be divided click on edit edit frames divide frames so we'll divide it in 3 So go to quick drop beams again here select the single angles property and start drawing similarly on to the other side click on the joint draw the columns click on quick draw columns select the property columns ok two columns two columns have been drawn now let's assign the supports at the bottom fixed supports will assign click on joints read strains and fixed and then apply click on ok now similarly our, uh, the frame is drawn and will replicate for other members so completely select the frame click on edit the replicate for the adjacent base is 4 meter we will select it 4 and the number of times you are going to replicate it is 5 so click on 5 apply and ok so here is it so now let's draw the purlins so purlins Seven we have assigned earlier. So we are going to place the purlins on the spacing as provided earlier. So we have assigned the purlins. So now let's replicate it again. So select all the purlins 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. You can see on the left side we have selected 7 frames. Now go to edit. Again. Replicate. Now the number will be 4. Apply okay so now you can see here the purlins have been applied successfully now let's assign a roof to our structure so let's define it section properties slab sections we can modify the already present one here so click on roof you can name it anything four three one three four five now we are going to select it as a membrane select it as slab and minimum thickness you can keep it as 5, 10 click on ok so we will draw click on the quick draw floor or wall option now select the roof such a way make sure you come back to the position where you started again yes similarly the opposite side will do it so here is the 
roof so similarly we will select it and duplicate it edit duplicate 4 4 yes okay apply okay so now you can see the model we have applied all the members now let's assign the loads on the structure so now let's define the loads select the lab sections okay so we have selected it now go to assign shell loads uniform assign the dead load first no, okay so the shortcut for selecting the same section again is go to select get previous selection now you can see we have selected again so go and assign shell loads uniform live apply okay so now let's run the analysis run analysis wait for some time unless the model is assigned analyzed so now here you can see you can also see the animation of the structure here it is displacement now let's design it reference 800,000 ok again design start design check so this is the design you can see here you can check on it column member used here is size wb600 these are the properties okay now let's check if all members have been passed so the notification is all steel frames pass the stress capacity check so the design is successful and we can look at the model here all the details we tap steel frame design this is the eye section that is the column section we have used in here so that's all the shear design also the moment capacity we can also check here stress checks forces and moments similarly we can print the project report here click on project report here is the detailed report you can get all information of the structure here so that's it we have successfully designed a truss of six pan so you can also try this at home and upload your videos all the best thanks for watching